I'm 53 years old and I live in my minivan. So what do you do at 53 years old when you are living in a van? I live in my minivan. The temperature according to my dashboard, the temperature outside is 101 degrees. So that's 101 degrees and I'm living in my minivan. So the first thing you gotta do besides strip down is get you some ice. And no, all ice is not created equally. Thornton's has the best ice. So you need some crunchy ice that you can chew up. But it's not pleasant when you live in a minivan and it's 101 degrees. So let me just say this. My grandparents, and this includes my grandmother, my grandfather, but my grandmother especially, I come from a long line of religious people, spiritual people, God-fearing Christians, who believed that life, in life, life is long-suffering. Like you will suffer in life, in your um, life here on earth, you will suffer. And this is what my family believed. No, it was nowhere written down that um, as religious people, we must suffer, but it was understood that life would be long suffering. It was understood, it was. So what does that mean, long suffering? It means forget about anything wonderful happening to you on this earth. Just forget about it. Now, if something wonderful happens for you because you've worked hard and you've earned it, then wonderful. But don't expect just because you work hard on this earth that anything fantastic is going to happen for you. You are going to be long suffering. Again, this wasn't something written. There was no nothing written in books in my home or nothing written in our Bibles that as Christians, as seven day Adventists, that we must be long suffering. But it was kind of like an unwritten rule. As a Christian, you will be long suffering. So when I decided at the age of 50 to move into my van, I did so with the understanding that there would be good times, there would be hard times, and that I am able to endure long suffering. I'm able to suffer for a long time. I know that sounds like insane, but it's the truth. I was talking to someone and I was telling them they were like how can you be in that van it's so hot and I was like I'm long suffering I have the ability to suffer for a long time I come from a whole generations and generations of religious spiritual God-fearing Christians that were long suffering but let me back up for a minute and share some of my story before you think it's all bad it's not all bad Moving into my minivan was a choice. It was a decision I made when I turned 50 years old. Um, the person that I was renting a room from, the lease was up. And um, I had the option to take over the unit or to get another roommate. But I decided I was going to move into my minivan. I moved into my minivan and I converted it into a mini camper van. So for me, uh, moving into a minivan was my choice. By choice, I became houseless and zip coatless. Living in a minivan has its pros and cons. Definitely for me, there have been way more pros than cons. But on some days, it can be difficult and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But I'm thankful that I've always um, worked remotely as a digital nomad and I'm thankful that at any time I did not want to this to be my life I could change it and it wouldn't be my life but for right now living in a minivan and it's 101 degrees this is my life this is my life when I turn 50, and I'll put the video link somewhere, so be sure to read the description or my community tab. When I turn 50, 
I had a party, a small party gathering of family and friends. I had a sip and paint party where I asked people to paint, you know, me something, paint me a picture. That's what I wanted for my 50th birthday. And um, everybody painted me these pictures of me, freedom and van life and everything. And my son, his girlfriend, she was new at the time. She painted me a picture of a house and she was like, I just want you to have this. And I was like, I'm moving in a van because I want to move in a van. But she couldn't wrap her brain around it. And neither could my mom. My mom, when I first told her I was moving into a van, a minivan, she started crying. And over the years, these last couple of years, I've gotten mixed reactions to living in a minivan. Everything from... You've got to be crazy, or that's the most exciting thing I've ever heard. So for me, living in a minivan, although it's hot today, it's not bad. I've had way more pros and cons. I've had way more great days or good days than bad days. And for the foreseeable future, I am going to continue living, working, and traveling in my minivan for the future. So I'm gonna ask you, what is the most craziest thing you've ever done? Please tell me in the comments below. Um, what have you ever done? Have you do you, are you a person who takes risks? So if you don't mind, give this video a like, make a comment. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and take the joy route.